Hi, welcome to another video. So, Ader has got some new upgrades in recent times. And not just that. There's even a new model configuration that consists of R1 and Sonnet that now scores the soda on Ader's leaderboard. That's why I thought to tell you guys how you can use it and what the new upgrades are as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now let's come back to the video. After the last video I did, there have been some pretty minor upgrades like the O1 support and stuff like that, along with DeepSeek's V3 model full support and more such smaller and minor bug fixes. But one of the major new features or upgrades is that it now has support for DeepSeek R1. It now has a shortcut for the DeepSeek R1 model, which is like this. So, this is great. Some other main stuff is that, in the watch files thing, it now allows you to also ask questions to Ader by defining a comment like this with the AI thing, and then once you save it, it will show the answer to that question, which is great. The watch thing now also watches all the files instead of specific source files, and there are also new AI comments that allow you to give a specific set of instructions in any file to the AI and make sure that it follows those instructions as well. There's also a new multi-line flag that makes enter a soft new line and meta enter send the message. So that's great as well. Apart from this, there isn't as much stuff, but one of the new soda on the Ader benchmark is now scored by none other than DeepSeek R1. But not just DeepSeek R1, it's in conjunction with the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. As you know, Ader has a model called Architect, where it uses one model to make a plan and one model to do the edits. So, they ran R1 model as an architect and Sonnet as an editor in one session, which made the combination score 64%, which is higher than O1. And not just that, it is 14 times cheaper than if you would have used O1, which makes this new combination a pretty economical and better approach than using O1. The total cost of this is $13.29, while O1 cost $186.50, which is a lot. So, there's that. Now, let me tell you how you can use this new combination along with the new features. First of all, make sure that you upgrade Ader to the latest version with this command. There's also a new way to install it now with an Ader install package. So, you can use that if needed and if you install it from scratch. There's that as well. Now let me show you the new stuff as well. So first of all, we now have the R1 shortcut. You can now export the DeepSeek API key and then you can just start Ader with the R1 model with the shortcut and use it as well, which is pretty great as well. There's also now full support for DeepSeek v3, and you can now use the DeepSeek flag shortcut as well to directly use that if needed. You can now also use the watch files things to ask for stuff. So, if we start Ader with watch files, then we can now add a comment here 
and ask it something as well. And it will register that and then show the related stuff in the terminal space as well, which is great for questions. You can also put in instructions up there as well, and it will only generate code as per those instructions. You can obviously also ask it for changes by just mentioning what you want it to do in the comment and then saving it, and it will automatically register that and use it. This is a really good feature as it just removes the hassle of navigating away from the coding environment to something else. So, that's also good. Apart from this, you can also now use the multi-line flag, which will now make sure that when you hit enter, it doesn't directly send the message. Instead, you'll need to hit control plus enter, and then only it will send the message to the provider, which is really handy for many people. You can also put these things in the ADER config file and keep the environment ready for your use and have it customized. Now, there's the DeepSeq R1 and Sonnet combination that we also need to test. So, first of all, you can just go to the ADER config file. If you don't have it already, then just create it in the project root directory. Once done, you can just get the base model added as DeepSeq R1 like this. And then in the editor model, you'll need to have Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Once you have that set up, we can now start using it. So, for comparison, I'll be asking it to build me an AI chat interface in an Expo app. I have tried the same thing with both Sonnet and R1. R1 generated this, which works well, while Sonnet made this, which throws an error. Now, let's try it out with this combination, and let's see how good or bad it performs. So, I'm just going to send the same prompt here, and once we do that, it will start working on it, and it first uses the DeepSeq R1 model to create a plan about what it should do and what it shouldn't. Once that's made, it will start generating the code using Sonnet, and Sonnet is really good at generating code. That's why the combination works so well, because R1 can easily do the thinking and planning while Sonnet can make the regarding code. If we wait a bit for it to finish, then it's now done, and it did everything pretty well. It made the plan and then implemented it and everything as well, which is pretty awesome. Now, if we run it, then this is a really good generation it is considerably better than the other two, and although I didn't check it with O1, I believe that it would be considerably better at that as well, which is pretty awesome. So, this is quite cool at the least. Now, I also want to mention some of the free APIs as well, which I'm using these days. So, first is the $100 free credits cluster thing. It gives you access to DeepSeek's R1 as well as Llama models, and the $100 credits is quite amazing. And you can also use something like Hyperbolic or Together to also use DeepSeek R1 for free with some credits as well. Apart from this, you can also use the GitHub models. They have added the Llama 3.3 and 5.4 models as well, which you can also use if needed. And it already has the GPT-4.0 models as well if needed. So, you can use those things if needed. Groke has also now added the Distilled R1 Llama 3.370B model on their platform, which is not only fast, but also great. And they have their rate limited, but usable API, which you can use all you want. So, Ader was already good. And now with these new models and more stuff, it's even amazing. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.